My name is uh, Zheng Yu Yue. I'm an associate professor of neurology and neuroscience at the Mount Sinai School of Medicine. So my laboratory is interested in understanding autophagy uh, process known as a cell self-eating. Autophagy is a really very essential process for maintaining the homeostasis of the proteins. And you can also call it as a quality control process because it can dispose those bad proteins, those old protein, obsolete protein, the, the uh, damaged protein, damaged process. And then it can provide the new raw material to building uh, the new protein com uh, complex, the new uh, organelle, so also like a recycling process. Autophagy is being implicated in, in many, many diseases. It's a really critical process that's important for uh, maintaining general cell health. It's, it's like cleaning up your, your house, basically. We are seeing the most direct link between problems with autophagy and disease in the brain. So it seems that neurons, brain cells, are um, particularly um, bad at dealing with clogged up cells. There's a lot of work on the genetics. That's only 5% of the cases in Parkinson's disease. So what is going on? You know, could it be this mechanism is shutting down? And then can we find ways to enhance this cellular mechanism and, and enhance the removal of these proteins that are really bad for these dopamine neurons. Autophagy can be considered as a double-edged sword. In some very aggressive tumors, the tumor cells relies on autophagy to rapidly proliferate and survive in a very, very nutrient uh, poor condition and they become dominant. So the idea is in those type of tumors, you will block autophagy. Therefore, it can inhibit the growth of the tumor proliferation. In the brain, we're hoping perhaps to make it happen more so that it can clear up the aggregated proteins, the, the bad stuck together disease proteins. But then you have to think it, that you can't turn it on too much and degrade everything in the cell because you could almost eat the cell to death. So really depending on the context of the um, disease, autophagy can be a good, it can be bad, and therefore when we design the strategy for the uh, treatment, we have to either enhance or block the autophagy. My research is mainly focused on a protein called backlink. The reason why we are studying backlink 1 is that backlink 1 mediated autophagy is very closely involved in a lot of human diseases and the best way to study human diseases is to make uh, mouse models to study what is going on in the mice and thereby gaining information about the human system. We can use fluorescent labels and look at particular proteins. And because you're using colors, you can look at two or even three different proteins at a time. So you can look at um, a protein that might be specific for the dopamine neuron, and then you can look at your alpha synuclein, one in red, one in green, and you can see if they overlap, if you see yellow. As early as one month old, just looking in the brain, you already start to see in the dopaminergic cell bodies these dots, these buildups of this kind of bad protein. But the mouse behaves normally, and when we look at their motor behavior, they, they're doing just fine. It's not until as late as nine months old where you start to see they have some locomotor abnormalities. And this kind of reflects what you see in humans. In human Parkinson's, uh, about 80% of the cells need to die before you start seeing symptoms. Since the 90s, there's been a huge surge of research into autophagy and the mechanisms of autophagy. And it's been an incredible um, field to be in. I think overall the autophagy field is a very friendly field. Uh, of course there is competition. I mean, people try to publish data as soon as possible, but uh, there is a lot of collaboration going on. In many laboratories, mine and many other laboratories, just begin to explore autophagy process and then try to figure out which step will be the best target and an easy to manipulate the autophagy activity in a way to benefit the disease and the clinical application. Of course, it will be a dream to 
come out of autophagy drugs that can cure the diseases.